Hi, Schweitzer. As a kid growing up in St. Louis, and I did love my neighborhood, the Holy Spirit was called the Holy Ghost, and I didn't know what to do with that. It's a, uh, a ghost from God that's good. It was a real mystery to me. And the Holy Spirit's still a mystery, but it is a good mystery. As we open ourselves to God and do life with God and seek God and pray and converse with God, the Spirit moves in our lives. We have thoughts and promptings and uh, what appears to be circumstances. Experiences come our way and we experience the Holy Spirit in a really practical way. For example, I see the Holy Spirit move in the lives of new parents with their excitement and joy over a new baby, their beloved child. I see the Holy Spirit work through a person that's overcoming an addiction because of the love and the power, this new power they have that is from God that helps them in their troubled time. I see the power of the Holy Spirit in a community that comes together to protect and care for each other during a pandemic. I see the power of the Holy Spirit in a nation that prays and seeks God and seeks justice, seeks justice. And I see the power of the Holy Spirit in a, in a church like Schweitzer that feeds people spiritually, but also in really practical ways, like through the pantry and through ministries that, that bring life in new ways, in job creation and skills and so much more. The Holy Spirit, is alive and moves in our lives. And it's our great joy to be a part of life with God. And so this week, I say, let's open ourselves to the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Have a great week, Schweitzer.